really do with some spring-like weather now. Hi, uh, welcome back. Just going to get uh, on now with the front outrigger, uh, front wheel arch and the floor repairs on the inside and we'll be getting the sill finished out on this side. Um, so yeah, going to carry on and get stuck in. Cheers. It's another patch ready to go. Uh, that's the front of the outrigger and the back of the wheel arch. Um, I'll hammer it in there a little as, as I will once I have the inside edge welded. And the other one here is going on the back side of that and I'll attach to the sill. So that's the front piece of the outrigger welded in. Um, and that, that piece is done as well. Um, it's very hard to clean up the welds. I didn't do anything with the outside ones. The inside ones I'm just showering myself in sparks. So um, I'm just going to leave it like that I think. Um, there's just a little bit of a... I welded up the inside as well. Um, there's just a little bit of a cap to go on top of that now and that'll be the outrigger done. So I hadn't chopped anything out of this van in five minutes, um, so I cut the seat base out, nice little hole there, bottom of the battery box is shot, um, just finished welding up the top of that outrigger, um, so at least all that stuff in there now is nice and solid, just the floor to go on top of it and that'll be that section taken care of. Well, now, despite being disgusting outside, it's actually quite humid and manky in here. Um, everything's damp and it's actually quite warm, so it's just sweating. I know, it's better than being outside, I know that, but still, you have to complain about something. Um, went to take out the mat from here, had to undo the seatbelt. That wasn't happening, so there's the seatbelt retaining bolt. Uh, twisted, and I cut the whole thing in the end because it was twisting and pulling this out. Uh, went at the battery box, well no I haven't gone to the battery box, so that's still all rusty, I've just cleaned it out. Um, need to snip some of those wires and pull them back out of the way really. Uh, hole there, needs sorting. Now, yeah there's a lot in this corner. Uh, so. Whatever needs doing down there, I'll cut out a piece of floor. Same here. Uh, front step and wheel arch. So I'm going to have a look at the wheel arch next. And yeah, just work our way along. I don't know why, it seems uncommon. Usually the passenger side, which is always near the ditch or near the drains or pulled in and gets muddy and whatever, is actually a lot better on this van than the driver's side. Um, really haven't seen that in anything. It's nearly always the other side where the paint gets damaged by hedges and everything. Uh, when we went to get this van, it was parked with that side to the hedge, which I assumed would be worse. Uh, maybe it was just where it was parked for a big part of its life or something in some other place. Um, but yeah, um, the other thing with this van, this was an English van. Uh, Irish things don't tend to rot out from underneath like this. They kind of rot a bit more uniformly from the top down. We don't have so much salt on the road, and uh, or if any. Um, so the chassis can tend to be okay on the Irish vehicles where just everything else is rotten from the damp climate. But um, definitely it's very apparent on this van that this is from salt. You know, this is all just rotten from salt. Well that escalated about as much as you'd come to expect from this crusty bastard. Um, hmm. Yeah, got cut in there a little bit. Um, little bit of work on the top of that cross member. 
Um, the rest actually is just the floor. Um, Um, right, well, the reality of it really is it's just a bit of work on the top of that cross, cross member, which seems to be the 1.2 mil steel. Um, chassis leg is fine in the heavier stuff there. Um, bit on that support there at the back, and then the rest is actually just the floor. Um, again, that's just sheet metal, so it's not really a, as big an issue as it looks. Well, I just don't want to think about it that much. Um, this outer edge isn't great in places and the arch doesn't incorporate that edge so I'm going to have to do a few little repairs on this or maybe a weld on a lip just to extend that down a little bit. Um, other than that, uh, she's actually okay in around there. Um, this is all pretty good inside the pillar so um, quite happy with the rest of the pillar there's a few little holes where the spot wells used to be I'll just um, fill those out and uh, grind them back a bit again uh, yeah had a good look underneath I did hear a bang when I drove this over the road that first day and I've just realized what it was it's that stabilizing bar in there has sheared Worst part about that means now, uh, I'm not going to trust any of those, so I'm going to have to change this one, the one on the other side, and take a look at all that um, anti-roll bar, although that's less relevant, but um, yeah, they're going to need doing. I had to crawl around underneath there to see was there anything else horrific, um, but not so bad really. Um, I was talking earlier about a cross member that went under the cab that I might cut the cab floor out. But, sorry, I'll just try and get it to focus on it. You can just about see it in there. Um, it's only a short length, actually, that runs between the two seats. Um, and the back end of that there is where... You can see where the back of the handbrake sits down. So what I'll probably end up doing there is, rather than cutting out a huge amount of this, I'll uh, cut that section across between the two seats and uh, replace it and refloor that part just at the back of the handbrake. Uh, I hope the up under the gear stick and stuff is all right. Um, and I'll see when I get to the other side how uh, far I have to, how much of the floor I have to cut out over there. I uh, don't want to, um, yeah, I won't cut any more out until I get something to put back into this because, well, that just gets a bit depressing quite frankly. Right, I think I've been procrastinating about this long enough. Um, better do something. Uh, got the sheet of steel from Just Campers and the 1.2 mil stuff. Just couldn't get it locally, which was a bit of a shame. Um, keep going to go at this and get stuck in other things. I was just making a bit of room there in my. Um, where I do a lot of metal working, but now I've moved the bench back to where there's no floor, so I'm kind of tempted to go mixing cement and make a floor. But no, I'll do some welding. So we've got this ready now to weld up. Um, I've just ground off there because I'm gonna. I've drilled the piece to plug weld along this, so I've just ground clear where I'm going to be plug welding, um, and I can paint and stuff this from the inside once uh, before I put the outer sill on. This I am going to change um, so I'm just going to run it out under that for now and afterwards uh, when I have a bit more of the serious stuff done I'll cut the bottom of that panel along each side and just do a bend, a smaller bend in than this. Um, that repair has held up okay but it is rusting through in a few little places now so I may as well just get it done. Um, so this is the piece. So I'll clamp that up better from outside now and get it tacked in. I always butt weld everything, um, I just prefer doing it that way. Um, it probably would be easier to do a lap, uh, but yeah, 
это надо сейчас твоя дверь. Right, so after a lot of noise sparks and all that jazz later, uh, there we go. I'll do those three squares next. Um, I did this, that little rail. That little rail there, there's a full section of that gets welded across the top of this when it's done. I'll give you a look underneath there now as well. So, a little cleaning up required under here as well, but... Well, a vast improvement on what it was. Uh, well, it's coming through nicely all the way along. I'll grind that back a little bit, but I won't go too mad because the under seal covers it all up afterwards anyway. The sun is actually shining. <laughs> That has meant that I've had to do other things for most of this week. Um, so today I want to finish patching that floor and yeah, make some progress on this before I get this video up. Um, hopefully, I think maybe just patching the chassis for now and uh, doing those few little squares back there that they're doing. So that's what I'm gonna do for the morning. Okay, so I wanted to have a bit of real progress to show you before I ended this video. I'm pretty happy with all I got done today. Um, it's actually a beautiful day, so I'm just going to go outside for the rest of the evening. Um, but I want to give the chassis leg and stuff a coat of paint where, I, uh, where I've just finished. I'll just show what I've done first. Right, so I've got that um, little chassis outrigger piece, whatever it is, uh, sorted out. New piece in there, all this top welded in and cleaned down. Uh, a few little pad wells there on the top of the chassis leg just to build it up a bit. Uh, piece there, piece here, and uh, another piece down on the front there that's just been done. So I'm going to give that a coat of uh, phosphoric acid, and in a little while I'm going to come back out and give it a coat of paint before I start um, working on this. So I've just been making a section there for the floor. Um, so I'll be carrying on with that in the next video and back there as well. I'm going to do the same. Uh, I'll give the coat of uh, that stuff and then a coat of a uh, little bit of epoxy primer. So 
Yep, I'm going to leave it at that. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to follow the project. Um, got nothing but time to get on with this now. So um, yeah, cheers and I'll see you next time. Thank you.